looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 22nd December, Sunday, on the front page you have Toll touches 16 in UPS protests continue. So, protests against Citizenship Amendment, Amendment Act continue in various parts of the country. And death toll from widespread violence in Uttar Pradesh has increased to 16 now. So, here you can see it is said uh, by the police that they did not open fire at protesters anywhere on Friday or Saturday. And firing came from agitators. And all the deaths that took place have been in crossfire. In the sense that when they fired, police also fired. So, in cross firing, when you say it's cross firing, means police did open fire. Open fire, not, uh, uh, you know, so uh, police did fire as such. And then here you have India China to seek fair border solution. So, India China are going to intensify their quest for settlement of the boundary question now. It is also the 70th anniversary of diplomatic ties between India and China in 2020. So, the two sides want to expedite this process. There have been closed, uh, closed door talks taking place on border solution between India and China for quite a few years now. So, they need to be concluded. So, it's uh, in POK region too. China has uh, acquired territory from Pakistan so, and also uh, another part of Jammu and Kashmir has been acquired by China during uh, the in 1962 india china war and also there are disputes in arunachal pradesh uh, china claims the entire state of arunachal pradesh to be belonging to tibet and the, consequently to china then below you have government moves on plan for new parliament house so we had discussed this earlier too that the government wants to build a new parliament house so now it has acquired land it is 9.5 acre plot opposite the existing parliament house which is likely to be used for construction of the new parliament building. So, the government uh, you know, uh, is moving to change the land use of the plot currently designated for recreational use to parliament house. So, that will be the redesignation done in the master plan 2021 of Delhi. On page 7 you have Monsoon decided history of Indian subcontinent. So, this is IIT Kharagpur study which throws light on last 900 years and it shows how the course of human history in the subcontinent has been decided by Indian monsoon. So, it says uh, Indian summer monsoon when there have been dry spells, there have been several dynasties falling like it gives, gives examples of Sena in Bengal, Solanki in Gujarat, the dynasties which fell in the mid 13th century, Parmar and Yadav in the early 14th century, all of which flourished during abundant rainfall, declined during the dry phase of Indian summer months. So, this suggests the role of climate in socio-political crisis. On page 8, you have Shadnagar killings, High Court orders second autopsy. So, this is in the Disha murder case, the Hyderabad veterinary doctor who was, uh, who was raped and murdered. So, in this case, the four accused as such were taken by the police on the site of the crime and uh, while reenacting the crime uh, as such, it was seen that they tried to snatch the weapons from the police and the police fired at them and all four accused were killed. So, in this, Telangana High Court has ordered to have a re-postmortem examination done on the bodies. And also, the special investigation team set up uh, as you know established in this case of, uh, of uh, you know, killing an, or an alleged encounter uh, the police uh, police weapons used uh, also has to be seized on page 9 you have manual scavenging left 282 dead since 2016 so, this is regarding manual scavenging which is still prevalent in the country and because of it being highly toxic, you can see there have been deaths and there have been 282 deaths in the country since 2016 and maximum deaths have taken place in Tamil Nadu followed by Haryana. Then below you have raising of retirement age to benefit 4 lakh army personnel. So, Army's attempt to increase the retirement age of Jawans in specialized disciplines to between 55 to 58 years is likely to benefit 30 to 40 percent of the armed force, around 4 lakh army personnel to be precise. So, 
This study is currently underway to identify the disciplines where the service tenure can be extended. And here you have Supreme Court condemns detention on irrelevant grounds. So Supreme Court says that detention on irrelevant grounds is like punishment without trial. So this was in a case in which one Khaja Bilal, he was detained by the police as a gunda under Telangana Offenders Act of 1986. But the Supreme Court said there was no clear link between him, his past and the immediate need to detain him. So, it's, the Supreme Court said that uh, an incident which takes, took place 9 to 14 years earlier cannot be basis for detention presently. So, it, the police should prove or the authorities should have to conclude that the person is engaging or making preparation for committing an illegal act. On page 11, you have India summons Malaysian envoy over Mahathir's comment on CA, Citizenship Amendment Act. So, this is Malaysian envoy to India who has been summoned and a complaint has been lodged uh, as such a protest on the Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mahmud's observation critical of Citizenship Amendment Act. So he said that police action against Indians protesting over Citizenship Amendment Act was very unfortunate and he said that India is a secular state from the start. Religion of the people did not prevent them from becoming citizens. So this was the statement he made. To the media also he referred to the situation in Kashmir. So India is protesting. The Indian government is protesting against these statements. On international page you have Pakistan academics sentenced to death over blasphemy charges. So this is Junaid Hafiz who was arrested in 2013 for allegedly posting derogatory remarks. And now a Pakistan court has sentenced this university professor to death for blasphemy under a law that critics say is often used to target minorities and liberal activists. So his remarks uh, are allegedly against Prophet Muhammad and he has been sentenced to death. Earlier too, there has been this case in October 2018 of Asia Bibi, a Christian woman who had spent more than eight years on death row for blasphemy, but then finally she had been acquitted. So she now lives in Canada with her family. So this is it. Then here you have U.S. sanctions companies building Russia's gas pipeline to Germany. So U.S. sanctions against companies uh, involved in this pipeline project. So, from Russia to Europe, this pipeline would be providing uh, you know, fuel. So, that is what is being sanctioned. So, it is said the US feels it will give Kremlin, that is Russia, leverage over Europe. So, here you can see. Companies are building this nearly $11 billion Nord Stream 2 pi pipeline under the Baltic Sea with the aim of doubling deliveries of Russian natural gas to Germany. And below you have ICC to probe war crimes in Palestinian territories since 2014. So International Court of uh, International Criminal Court is going to look into these war crimes, alleged war crimes that have taken place in Palestinian territory. So this has resulted in furious reaction from Israel and condemnation from US as well. And here you have Hong Kong protests continuing. So violent protests have been going on in Hong Kong for the for more than six months now. And uh, they are violent protests. Uh, they are, the protesters use masks during these protests. And the police also uh, uses force to control the crowd. But so far there have been there has been one death in these protests. Due to police firing. And this is also regarding New Zealand scheme where you know, the gun policy has changed after the terrorist attack in New Zealand. So on December 21, uh, the country, it was said, will be a safer place after owners are handing over more than 50,000 guns in this buyback program. So guns have been banned here. Then on business page, you can skip. Then on Sundays, you also have FAQ coverage, frequently asked questions. So important issues over the week are covered here. So first one is what connects NPR, NRIC and census. So NPR is national population of register, national population register which is compiled as such at regular intervals. So NPR because it is linked to census too. And then you have uh, uh, NRIC which is national register of Indian citizens. 
so here you can see that is been planned by the present government nrc exercise was conducted in assam which has been concluded this year so now uh, nationwide replication of that is being sought by the central government and then you have the census which is also taken so uh, this article actually links and makes one understand how all are related so how npr is related to citizenship and the decennial census and can states refuse cooperation with the npr process because some states have said they will not undertake nrc so npr is conducted by all even npr was protested against presently we saw kerala government west bengal government withdrawing npr also npr exercise and this is regarding the tata ministry uh, tata ministry ruling tata ministry has been uh, Uh, his removal has been rejected and called illegal by national company law appellate tribunal so how does this ruling impact corporate governance is made to be understood here in this article and this is why is it taking so long to label fast food so this says what are the regulations on salt and trans fat in junk food and why is fssai draft still not law so on all food items we have uh, you know labeling but there's no labeling on fast food items they come without labels so there are draft laws in place but they have not been enacted yet so this article tries to un un understand why is it taking so long for the law to come into effect then on sundays you also have science and technology coverage so here the first article is mutation in smell gene found to be associated with asthma so this is a study undertaken of uh, a multi generational indian family so four generation family in mysuru with high prevalence of asthma was studied and it was seen that it is an olfactory gene a smell gene which is uh, the which plays an important role in and results in asthma so this uh, gene variant has been discovered then here you have carbon dots help detect herbicide pollution so this is an extraordinary waste to wealth uh, achievement of researchers from assam they have used commonly found invasive plant water hyacinth to produce carbon nanoparticles and these extremely tiny particles 10 nanometer particles they can be used for detecting a commonly used herbicide that is pretilacor so this nanoparticles uh, selective uh, uh, are selective and sensitive for detection of this herbicide then here below you have how an iit hyderabad team used plant extract and heat to kill cancer cells and this is regarding ramanuja he he is a mathematical genius shrinivas ramanujuna from ramanuja from india and it is said due to the remarkable originality and power of his genius the ideas he created a century ago are now finding applications in diverse contexts so his uh, his his findings are now used in signal processing black hole physics so that is then on sundays you also have dispatches coverage where important articles international issues are covered as such so the first one is death of a doctor who turned deserts into gardens so this is japan national tetsu nakamura nakamura who had worked with afghanistan for decades and he has now been killed by gun and then you have a race to keep china's food delivery business busting so this is regarding how uh, the success story of china's food delivery business lies in the risk delivery executives take to meet deadlines so that is one issue which every country delivery you know how they try to reach on time so that is it these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you